What's going on guys, Terribly Tactical here with the first installment of the Prepper series. And before we can get to all the cool stuff like this, okay, um, we've got some other things to take care of. We've got some other things to talk about, all right? And uh, these, these are some of the things that don't get a lot of coverage, in my opinion, in the whole Prepper world, the whole preparedness world, survivalist, you know, Minuteman, militia kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of this gets overlooked, and I think personally this is the most important step that you can take in your prepper journey. Um, and, and and when I say you know prepper and all that, I know immediately in your head you go straight to doomsday preppers. You know, all oh, these people are nuts and they don't know what they're doing and they're psycho and they're you know they're crazy. And that's not what I'm talking about. You can be a prepper. In many different ways, in many different facets, and in many different capacities. Uh, small scale, large scale, anywhere in between. And uh, you don't have to go nuts with it. But, being a prepper, I would argue most of the time, more is always better. Um, so, that being said, before we start getting into talking about the, the gear and the guns and the ammo and the supplies and the stockpiling and the, and the body armor and all that cool stuff, the high speed, low drag stuff that everybody covers, that everybody's so excited to talk about. Um, let's talk about what's up here and what's in here and what's going on with this. Um, there, there's a lot going on with this that's not good. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. But um, your mind, the preparedness of your mind, super important. And I think that's where everybody needs to start. Um, Prepping can be overwhelming. There's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. There's a lot of things that you need to learn. There's a lot of things that you need to find a way to store, find a way to pay for. You know, there's a find a way to acquire to begin with, especially in a time like this when shelves are bare. Okay, so that can be frustrating. That can be extremely stressful and that can be very overwhelming. Do you have the mental capacity and the wherewithal to be able to deal with that and, and, and overcome it? And, 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 you know, roll with the punches, you know, um, that, that's a big thing. You have to be, you know, mentally sound and, and not be able, you know, to have yourself broken down just because, oh, well, I'm running out to, to go get some hand sanitizer and toilet paper and they don't have any left. Oh no, what am I going to do and have a mental breakdown? You have to be like, okay, I'm going to the next door. I'm going to the next door. Am I wasting too much gas now? Do I need this gas potentially, you know, for, for a later mission as it were? you know, balance the odds. You have to be able to think clearly and, and you have to know in your mind that no matter what, you're going to improvise, adapt, overcome, figure it out. Okay. Down to the last breath, the last second, the last minute, whatever. Uh, you have to be able to do those things for yourself and your family. You got to be able to do it for yourself first though, because if you can't do it for yourself, you're not going to be able to help your family. And in fact, you're going to be a detriment. Okay. Or your, your friends, family, coworkers, loved ones, whoever, um, that you're concerned about. So mental preparedness also down the line too, you know, when you do start talking about the cool stuff and the firearms and all that, are you prepared for that? Are you mentally prepared to possibly having to pull the trigger on a bad guy? Now, do you realize that they're a bad guy and they're there to hurt you or steal from you or, or, or do harm to you and your family? So they are, they are getting what's coming to them. They are, they are playing stupid games and therefore winning stupid prizes, but there's a lot of people out there that still don't see it that way. And, oh, that's another human, which I understand. I do. Um, it is another human. However, humans are the most dangerous apex predators on the face of this earth. Okay. And, uh, you are completely and totally justified in defending yourself against them. And, uh, you have to have that in the back of the head that, Hey, this is a possibility. It could come down to this. Am I ready for that? So that's mental. Um, physical. There's a lot of stuff that gets overlooked physically, right? Um, I am not a prime specimen of the male species by any means. However, I'm not morbidly obese. Uh, I'm relatively strong. I'm relatively uh, healthy as far as I don't get sick very often. So when it comes down to it, I'm not, I'm not in half bad shape here. I always want to get better. I'm striving to be better every day. Uh, simple ways you can do that. Drinking water. Okay. This cup, good size cup full of ice and water right now. 
I drink this cup or any other number of cups of ice and water um, multiple times a day on a regular basis, like all day, every day type of thing. Um, I'm definitely a sucker for some, some Diet Mountain Dew and uh, vodka, but that's another story. Which that also plays in part in, uh, you know, health and fitness and, and physically prepared, uh, being physically prepared for something like this. So, you know, drink water, get in the habit of drinking water. A lot of people don't drink water at all. It's, you know, uh, Capri Suns or pop or alcohol or whatever else, you know, um, and they're not drinking water. They're not getting that intake of water that they need on a daily basis. And so now when the time comes where you can't get water, I mean, you're already depleted, you're already dehydrated. So something like that, something as simple as taking vitamin C or calcium or a multivitamin, which you guys should be doing this on a regular daily basis to begin with, let alone now when we have to improve our immune systems to fight against a deadly virus, right? So stuff like that, it gets you into a routine, which is very helpful for being a prepper. You know, every day you wake up, slam a, a cup of water like this, take your vitamins, you know, eat a healthy breakfast, do whatever you got to do and, and go about your day. It helps put you in a routine. Um, plus it's good for you and it gives you the vitamins and minerals and, and stuff that you need being a living, breathing thing. So, um, on top of that, I want to lose some weight myself, um, about 260 some pounds. I want to get down to like 230, 240, um, and, and maybe build a little bit more muscle. On top of that, um, you know, I do vape, okay? I do vape. I'm technically addicted to nicotine, I suppose. I do believe this is way better than smoking a pack or two packs of cigarettes a day. However, this is still a crutch, and it's still not bad for me. However, technically, nicotine is a stimulant just like it is uh, with caffeine. And, and that's the other thing. If you're used to drinking coffee all the time, if you're used to drinking, um, you know, pop all the time, or monsters, or bangs all the time, and you're addicted to that stuff, if you can't have that stuff, or if you can't acquire that stuff, and you don't have it stocked up, uh, that is going, you're going to be hurting for at least a few days, maybe a week, maybe longer, depending on what it is, especially too, if you're addicted to alcohol. Um, there's a lot of things you got to think about changing in your life. And I think this, this whole coronavirus um, is a good wake up call for a lot of people. Uh, take an extra step today, uh, as opposed to what you did yesterday. Climb an extra flight of stairs. Uh, eat a little bit healthier. Be a little bit more active. Instead of sitting on the couch, get up and do something productive. Just keep moving. Motion is lotion. There's a lot of things um, that get overlooked with this whole prepping, survivalist, you know, militia man shit um, because people just want the easy way out. They think they can buy their way into preparedness, and that's not true. Okay, you need to be mentally prepared and you need to be physically prepared as much as possible. Now, we can never be prepared for everything and anything at any time. That's just impossible. But we should always try our best, try our hardest and try to be the best people that we can be for ourselves, our families, our loved ones. So uh, that that's what I got to say about that. I don't want to drag it out too long, guys, but uh, mental and, and physical preparedness, I think, is is the most important step to becoming a prepper. Get healthier, get smarter, use your mind. It's the greatest weapon and tool that we have. Um, and, then, and then after that is your body. If you're 500 pounds and you can't get up a flight of stairs that only has five stairs in the flight uh, without running out of breath and, and falling over, you're probably not going to last, okay? Um, obviously, those things aren't going to change overnight either. You have to put in work. You have to, you know, put in the effort. You have to make a change. You have to make many changes, but if you do truly care about yourself, if you do truly care about your family, your friends, and what's going on in this country, you will find a way to make that happen. So that's what I got to say about this, guys. Um, prepping, the first and most important part is mental and physical preparedness. And I encourage everybody to get on board and to start there. And then we'll build. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea, uh, especially when YouTube is always shadow banning people and, and, and stifling our content and everything like that. And then if you do want to help support the channel financially, there are links in the description box below. If you shop at those links, it doesn't cost you any extra. It doesn't taste different, wear different, you know, whatever. 
um, but I do get a little bit of a kickback, which goes directly back into the channel to do more content and better content for you guys. But primarily, the first three links in the description box below are the most important, and those will help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights. And I highly suggest you do that. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.